Hey there guys, this will be a full tutorial on how to use Sprout Social, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. Let's get started. So step number one is to go to SproutSocial.com. Consider using my affiliate link in the description to get a free trial. And all we're going to do is click on start your free trial. That's step number one. Then click on try 30 days for free. And what we're going to do here is we are going to sign up. So first put in your name and then your email address. I'm going to use an email address and then create a password. Step number two, it's going to ask you to connect your social platforms here. We have Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm first gonna go with Facebook here, then continue as Chris, and I'm going to walk you through logging into Facebook to connect your profiles, because you gotta remember, there's Facebook pages and there's Facebook groups. So I'm going to join with this page right here, Pothos Plant Keepers. I think this has a bunch of followers. Actually, that's a group, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to find a page here. Let's go with this one right here, Palmer Aquatic. Then click Connect. Then after you've connected that, you can add up to nine other social media platforms platforms as well. I'm just going to stick with the Facebook page for now and then click next. Then it's going to ask you, where do you work? It's going to get some information on your workplace, or maybe you're just a creator or a solopreneur. Then click next when you're done filling that out. And it's going to continue to ask you some more things here just so we can get some information. Okay. We have now completely signed up for Sprout Social. So this is what the user dashboard looks on the back end of Sprout Social. And the tabs here on the left are what we're going to be using to kind of navigate everything to use Sprout Social. And as you can see here, this is the dashboard tab and it gives us a lot of stuff here it'll give us uh, information on our recent posts today's publishing uh, you can do to do's there's just there's so much to be using on Sprout Social all right so let's first start with this first tab this is called the smart inbox and this is where all of the notification management and comments and messages private messages that you're getting from people all of your social media platforms come into one this is super super valuable guys this way you're not running around with your phone logging into Twitter and LinkedIn and YouTube YouTube and everything else this is all in one place this is gonna be super valuable and what I tend to do is I go and download the sprout social app on my phone and I manage it all from there now, what's really cool is you can click on this stuff and you can you can do all the same like management within the social platform like you can like posts you can reply you can actually go to the actual thread and it will open a Facebook page there itself and bring you directly there but what I tend to do is just manage it all here this is one of the best features of sprout social guys I promise and then the the next tab over here is cases. This is a lot of times uh, more or less used with internal businesses because a lot of times people are using Sprout Social with multiple employees and maybe there's 10 different people in here or 100. You can, you can create cases that need to be taken action on. Maybe it's a social media problem and then you want to alert Julie, hey, come over here, Julie, and fix this. I personally won't be using this and probably if you're a smaller creator, you won't be. And then the feed section, I really don't use this feature a lot to be honest with you, but this essentially... Uh, just attaching into your feeds and allowing you to browse the other social media feeds while you're in here. And then this next feature, the publishing tab is the next thing. What we can do here is, this is pretty crazy. This is one of the most powerful features in Sprout Social. Uh, this is the calendar, right? This is where we can schedule and create content to be published. What I tend to do with a lot of my clients is I will schedule content out like 30 days in advance. And all you have to do is hover your mouse over the certain day and then click on schedule post and this will open the post scheduler. This is really cool here. And again, you can just attach media. We can upload reels. This is kind of just like posting on any of the social media platforms, except we get to schedule it in advance. So we can just make a post here, test post, and then we can click the plus button here and then add some images. Let's see if I have any pictures. I only have screenshots of 3D printed stuff on my computer. Uh, but yeah, and then on the right side, it gives you a little previewer of what it's gonna look like when scheduled or when posted on the platform. It will show you what it looks like on each individual platform, which is very helpful. The previewer works very well. Then you can add hashtags, you can do workflows that gets a little geeky, but um, you can also add labels, like say if you had like announcement posts, or like um, engagement posts where people are filling out polls and so forth, you can add labels, which is really helpful for like multiple people managing the social media. You can also attach the ad manager in here, which is really crazy. And then you can also, this is where you schedule the actual date. All you have to do is click here. You can schedule the date and then the exact time down below right here. And then all you do is click save here and this schedules all of the social media posts. What I tend to do for a lot of my customers is I'll literally go in here like once a month and I'll schedule 30 days in advance to be published and I use ChatGPT, I use Canva, I use all kinds of crazy tools to help me kind of schedule out those posts because if you're trying to do all of this as you go and you're posting on five social media platforms and just as you go, it's a complete nightmare. And a lot of people think they can do it, 
but I can almost promise you it's a lot harder than you think. That's where scheduling is key. And this listening tab is really cool. This is a new feature that Sprout Social just came out with. All you have to do down here is click on create topic and then what you can do here is you can, this is essentially a tool where you monitor what people are saying about you on the internet. So if we were to choose like brand health here, all you do is kind of, you choose the name of the listening feature, you choose what sources you want it to search on. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Reddit, and then the entire web, which is crazy, right? And then what you do is you craft your query. A lot of times what people do is they put their brand name in here. Say if you wanted, uh, if you were interested in seeing what people were saying about your brand, like my brand is Min Media. And if I wanted people, if I wanted to know what people were saying about it, this search tool helps me. What it does is it sends a notification when people are talking about me. And what a lot of people don't think of is you can actually spy on your competitors using this tool as well. And you just go down here and you select, uh, you can exclude keywords. Like say if somebody had the same brand name, but like it had a different type of it. Like for example, my brand is Min Media Marketing. But if someone had Min Media Plumbing, you didn't want Min Media to be sending you notifications, right? So you can exclude certain keywords, you can add themes. This is extremely helpful when it comes to brand awareness and making sure that only positivity is being spread on the web. And for example, like say if someone's talking negatively about you in a forum somewhere, it's gonna notify you and say, hey, go and reply to this person and try to fix it because all of this stuff being planted elsewhere, like negativity and what people are saying, it can really have a drastic impact on your brand. All right, then we have the reports feature, which is the eighth one down in the tabs. So this is one of the craziest features, guys. I can't even, I'm gonna minimize me here for a minute. So you can create a social media report essentially on every metric you could think of. Like there's Google Analytics, you can attach that, you can do the Facebook pages, I'll click that just to get some insights on what's going on with my Facebook page, just because that's what I attach, that's the social profile I attach to here. As you can see here, we got audience growth, we got followers, and you can export all of these reports to the best of any, like this, they have the best reporting of any of the social media management tools that I've seen. As you can see here, it gives you published videos, published photos, it gives you demographics, it gives you everything, guys, like I'm being completely honest here, and it gives you your top posts, it gives you your competitors posts. Um, and again, I can click on reports. That's just the Facebook page. I can do competitor analysis, content performance, customer care, like inbox activity. If you can think of a metric on what you're gonna need for reports and analytics, Broad Social has it covered. Like this is like top level reporting. That's all I'm gonna say. This people feature is something that kind of like is built to nurture your relationships with people that are messaging you. Uh, just important people that are kind of like correlated to the brand. A lot of times it's mainly messaging. People that are commenting or reached out. You can you can put like a custom builder in here to kind of help nurture those relationships. And then this new feature is now known as bots. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. You can build AI bots to help you with customer care that are on your website. Do lead generation, shop bot, uh, essentially like it's like the, a lot of the chat bots that kind of like help take a lot of the work off of some of your mem your employees. This is a super cool feature. You can customize each bot. You're kind of going to have to geek out a little bit and go down a super in-depth rabbit hole, especially some with something like lead generation, but these can be super beneficial and almost every big business is using these right now. Then we have the reviews feature, which I personally love. This is where we can manage all your local reviews being posted. And again, all you have to do is connect all of these on your apps. Say if you're on the Apple App Store, Facebook page, Google My Business. Uh, Google My Business is huge for local businesses and chances are that's what you are, maybe. You can check yourself on TripAdvisor, Glassdoor, and Yelp. And essentially this is where we can manage all of the reviews in one place, guys. This is huge. So if you get a review on Yelp and uh, you should be replying to every single review you get and this can help manage it and you'll get notifications when you get a new review. So that's how to use all of the tabs over here on the left. There's just so much to be using, guys. Sprout Social is like next level when it comes to this stuff. And if you're looking to connect more profiles uh, or just team conversations you can have built-in team conversations it's over here on the right hand side over here so if you click connect on profile this is where you can add more social media platforms and I think it's you can add up to nine or ten of them or maybe it's more of them Facebook Instagram LinkedIn TikTok, Google my business Glassdoor Yelp Trustpilot and they're adding more and more as time goes on so this is how to use sprout social hopefully this guide helped you give a get a grasp on how to use this tool it's super powerful again if you're looking for more information you can check out links in the description and get a free trial using my affiliate link let me know in the comments is this tool easy to use did this help you learn how to use sprout social or if you have any questions all right guys I'll see you in the next one